In this video, we're exploring how to embrace the power of AI to improve the quality of your work on a platform you already know and love. We will be testing a few different plugins that you can find on the Figma community. And even if you haven't tried these plugins yet, don't worry, we will be exploring them step by step together. And after this video, I also encourage you to try them out to see which one best fits into your workflow and maybe fulfill the need of a specific project you're working on as well. Before we deep dive, big shout out to our sponsor, Superpeer. If you're interested in mentoring or growing a community, there's no way a place to do it than Superpeer. This platform is jam-packed with tools and resources to help you monetize and grow your content like one-on-one -on -one coaching, live streams, as well as membership programs and cohort-based courses. The team behind Superpeer is always working hard to make the platform even better, so keep an eye out for future updates. And once again, thanks Superpeer for sponsoring this video. Today, we're starting off with Craft AI, a Figma plugin that uses machine learning to improve the quality of your portfolio and resume. So this is Craft AI and its features include the ability to generate bullet points related to your role and experience and we have this portfolio feature which is coming soon so let's go ahead and install it. Let me make the background a little bit lighter so that we can see what we are working on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with product design and UX, UI, um, what else? User experience, uh, UX strategy, senior, senior designer, okay. Okay, so we have three bullet points. Proven experience as a product designer. Well, I, I wish I do, <laughs> I really hope so. <laughs> Strong portfolio of designing beautiful and user-friendly products. This is the minimum you can do as a senior designer, an ability to work with stakeholders to come up with a UI UX strategies. Okay, this is a bit vague and generic, but now I wanna see what happens if I reduce the amount of keywords. I'm not sure if that's gonna help or make things even worse, but let's try. Okay, seven years experience uh, of is seven years of experience as product designer. Pretty much, I will say less than seven years in product design, uh, but um, let's move on. <laughs> Proven success in designing user-friendly interfaces, strong background in UX strategy. Okay, um, I don't dislike them, but for sure I wouldn't include them in my resume. But uh, still, I appreciate that it's uh, it's coming up with ideas for me maybe like they can be a starting point uh, and then i can expand on them as well overall i think that craft ai is a promising tool that has a lot of potentials i really like the fact that uh, they're bringing in this new portfolio feature which i really look forward to trying out but what's missing for me is that uh, the bullet points are not always accurate and are limited to not many examples Maybe I should have added uh, more tags, but um, as we saw, it's better to add only a few word, but better tags. And actually one thing that I would love to see is a more detailed tagging system. So imagine being able to split your tags into categories uh, such as uh, roles, um, levels, uh, hard skills, uh, soft skills, uh, industries, achievements, etc. I think this will allow you to feed the algorithm with more data about yourself to make the bullet points even more accurate and personalized to your experience. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Next up is Muse, an AI assisted copywriting tool for designers and content writers. I'm gonna skip to the last uh, page where uh, we can try the tool ourselves. So we have an example here that says AI that can help you write a clear, understandable copy. And this can be the headline for a web page or whatever you want it to be. So this is the plugin here on the right, on, no, it's not the right, on the left, we have the content and some optional fields, such as the tone of voice and uh, a few settings. So, um, what we can input here is the tone of voice. I'm gonna do witty and uh, 
remove jargon, be concise, use active voice, speak spelling, whatever. Let's generate our suggestion and see if they are actually better. Let our AI be your writing assistant. Get AI assisting copywriting help. Unlock clear, concise copy with AI. Well, I really like that and I also do appreciate the amount of examples because it's always good to compare more than three uh, examples of copy to see which one is more powerful. Um, I'm gonna pick up this one. And I think the first one was really successful, but now I wanna try this one, which can be maybe not a headline, but more like a tag tagline. Jump right into our product. Demo, live chat, take Heidi tours and explore our features with sample data. Okay, this time I want a formal tone of voice and um, I don't mind some jargon. So let's see, this is quite exciting, <laughs> nice. Trying out our product, live chat with us, um, take guided tours and explore features with sample data, dive into our product, experience live chat, guided tours and sample data, blah, blah, blah. blah. Okay, ag again, these are really uh, all good examples. Um, I'm gonna choose this one just, um, just for fun and uh, yeah, now as you can compare the text, you can see very, 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 this new version is a lot clearer and more impactful. Also, I really appreciate this custom field because they actually made the messages quite a bit different to one another. I love to try all the other tone of voices as well and uh, the settings uh, to customize the message even more. I think this is a plus one for me. Overall, I'm really impressed by Muse. Although it's similar to other AI tools for generating content, what sets it apart is uh, its integration with Figma, which makes it even more convenient and efficient than having to switch to a different tool. And I also appreciated the ability to choose the right tone of voice for a certain audience or media, although I think it can be expanded to even more options uh, and settings. So yeah, this is all I have to say. I think it's a good tool. <laughs> The next plugin is called Automator and it's just one of a series of AI plugins made by a company called Diagram. Automator allows you to build the custom drag and drop automations that do the work for you on Figma. The Automator community has tons of automations created by users and it's still in private beta. The only thing though, this plugin is not free, but you can still create one automation. So let's jump into Figma. I really like that they explain how the tool works in this sort of um, presentation. So this is our tool. At the top we have um, a few options. Uh, team if you want to work, uh, if you want to collaborate with your team and then the community where you can grab uh, resources and um, already made automations. But now let's jump straight in and start creating our automations. As you can see, we can add actions here. So I'm going to start by creating a frame, um, which is uh, 1300 by 800. Sounds good. And then what can we do? Can we add uh, a button maybe? Right. I'm going to do something super simple uh, and wacky just to show you how the tool works. Uh, don't judge me by my my skills, my design skills today. Um, I want to choose like a brighter color. I really wish I could just pick uh, which color I want, but unfortunately it's not possible just yet. And um, within the rectangle, I want to add text. Create text. Um, sign up today. The font is fine, 18 pixels. What else? What else can we add? I really want to try them all, but uh, I need to limit to maybe a, another one. So let's add a star. Um, what did I say green? It's not working. 
obviously it's not working um, not sure what color um, okay and the frame is white okay cool let's run it and see what happens okay I think it went here right um, I don't really know what I was expecting but um, yeah I guess this is what we have created the rectangle is there the text is there I'm not sure where the star uh, went maybe I didn't input the right um, the right text not sure uh, but yeah I guess I don't really know what to say. Um, I'm really impressed by the tool. I think it can do a lot, but maybe this wasn't the right example. Um, and so I guess this is the high quality design content uh, you came for. <laughs> Since my example was a bit um, crap, let me show you some cool stuff that I found on Twitter. Here is just switching uh, from um, Android to iOS in one click which is really sick I don't know how I really don't know how it does that and here you can just change the color code into the word then here you're just adding uh, the device to your um, Figma board which is really cool and so simple to do it makes it so easy <laughs> and uh, this one is uh, switching uh, to dark mode from light to dark mode and again this is insane and uh, this is probably my favorite which um, turns uh, your designs into like a loading screen so this is the screen that we are always meant to design but um, we don't really do that because it's just kind of boring and um, sometimes engineers know how to do it but it's really important to design how the loading screen is gonna look like when you first open a digital product so this does it for you i mean how cool is that i think this tool can seriously transform the way we work as designers what really sets this apart from others is that it's really well integrated with figma and our process of designing experiences in figma if that makes sense I also think that uh, the community aspect is great. You don't need to create uh, new automations uh, if you don't want to, but uh, you can use things uh, that somebody else uh, has already created, which is kind of how the Figma community works. Of course, uh, there is a learning curve, but uh, at the first glance, uh, I did not find it particularly evil, but I don't know. Maybe next time we can design something uh, more complex together. I love to try out some ready-made automations as well, but unfortunately it's not part of the free trial. So yeah, you gotta find another video for it. I'm gonna end this video here and I just wanted to say also thanks for joining today. I had so much fun trying these plugins with you guys and I'd love to hear what you think about it then as well. I'm curious to know, do you think these tools can actually improve our lives or are we still lacking in some areas or perhaps do you think uh, we should stick with the methods uh, we've been using all along? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it as well. I'm definitely going to use uh, a few of them at work um, and uh, you can probably guess uh, which ones. I've also been really impressed uh, by all the cool stuff that other designers have been able to create uh, with these plugins. And there are a few more I really want to try as well. I should also mention that uh, while AI tools can hugely improve our design process, they cannot replace the human brain and creativity that is granted in any design disciplines. So I'm gonna end this video on this positive note. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Until the next one, ciao!